In this video, I'm showing you guys how to catch an Articlaw in Prodigy with only two easy steps. Yeah, so you guys heard me right, only two easy steps to catch an Articlaw in Prodigy. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Also, I have a question, why would you guys not want to catch an article? I mean, just look at how adorable they made its look in Prodigy. Let's get straight into our video. Alright guys, so the only thing which you guys need to do to follow along with this video is you guys need to make sure that box second furnace is lit. As you guys can see over here, this furnace on the side should be lit. And if this furnace is lit, well then you guys will be able to follow along with this video. And if it's not, I'd recommend you guys keep on doing box quests until it is. So once you guys have lit this furnace, what you guys want to do is you just want to head up into Prodigy or you want to head into the treasure room. Now you guys may or may not know this, but this is known as a treasure room and this is known as Box Cave obviously. Alright guys, so now once we log in over here, you guys can see that an animal spawns in over here on the top left near the gates. Now what you guys want to do is you want to make your way through the iron gates covered in ice. So now in order to do this, what you guys will have to do is you guys will have to defeat the monster which has spawned in over here. So what you guys want to do is you want to go into a wizard battle against it. Now, alright guys, so the article resembles a clean white wolf. It has a bushy tail and baby blue eyes with streaks of pale blue coming from them. It has sky blue crystals for ears and friend claws and shades of blue on its body with tufts of fur around its neck. It has blue eyes and a pink nose. And as you guys can see, that description is pretty accurate for the article. Now, the in-game description says, Arctic Claws are one of the most loyal and protective pets, if you can befriend one that is. Alright guys, so at level 1 the Articla has 448 health, and at level 100 the Articla has 9303 health. Alright guys, so as you saw, we managed to murder the monster, so now what you guys have to do is after you guys collect all of the stuff which you guys need, you just click on the door and head through and now we're in the Ruin Railways. So right over here you guys can see that a shade usually always spawns over here. So now what you guys need to do is you need to battle this shade and move on to the Mountain Valley. Now the Mountain Valley you can just go there by clicking on this zone over here or going through the temple. So all you guys basically have to do is you have to battle the Cloaker. Alright guys, since the article is an ice pet you guys will know it's weak against fire and shadow, it's strong against storm, and it's neutral against ice, water, plants, and astral spells. Also did you guys know that there's a fire variant of the Articlaw? It's known as the Ember. It's basically Basically like the fire version of it in um, Bonfire Spire. So yeah, now guys, I'm just gonna let you guys have a look at the old attack animations of the Articlaw, and you guys can just see the new ones over here. So you guys can see that's a pretty cool difference. Alright guys, so once you guys have completed that battle, the next thing which you guys want to do is you just want to click on that passageway over there and head onto the Ruined Railway. Alright guys, so let's just go inside and bam. Alright guys, now we're in the Ruined Railways. So as you guys can see in this area, two monsters only spawn in these fixed locations. Now, what you guys have to do is you just have to keep on hitting the refresh or reload button in Prodigy or log in and log out again until an article spawns. And now an article can spawn in, in any of these locations. It can spawn in on top or at the bottom. And as you guys can see, this is a pretty quick method. I mean, you just have to pass through two doors. Damn, what? Did you guys just see that an Articlaw spawned in? Oh my gosh, look at our luck. It's that easy, guys. It just took me one chance to hit that reload button and an Articlaw spawned in. It may take you guys four or five chances, but that's like the maximum. It might take you like four or five times hitting the reload button, but that's the maximum. And once you guys do that, bam, you got an easy Articlaw. Let's go into a battle against it and let's catch ourselves an Articlaw. I mean, this is pretty easy. You guys can see now I'm going to have a three Articlaw team. So let's cast a spell Falling Star Smash and let's do this. Alrighty guys, I've just answered my question correct and now we're going on our quest to catch ourselves the Mystical Articlaw. And here we go, we've casted our spell which did half of the pet's damage to itself in damage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a spell Falling Star Smash once again because I cannot rescue it. And I don't want to use Volcano or any other spell because that would instantly kill it. So yeah, let's answer this question and catch ourselves an Articlaw. Alright guys, and another thing is, if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you were able to catch yourselves in Arctic Law, well I'd recommend that you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up, because I, it helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. And oh my god, you guys look at that, the Arctic Law survived by 94 health! Whoa, that is crazy, 94 health? Oh my gosh, alright, we're gonna hit that rescue button, and answer this question correct, because I do not want this to die. Bam, yes. Now we're gonna rescue a pet. Well, this question's pretty easy. Let's just click A and enter our question. 
Fam, here we go. We're finally catching ourselves another Arctic Claw, and now I have a team of four Arctic Claws, two Frost Fangs, and I should really sort them out. But here we go. Never mind. We just got ourselves another Arctic Claw, which is at level 94. So that's pretty cool. All right, that's very nice. Bam, let's gain our 11 member stars and now let's go head first into battle using our Arctic Claw. Alright guys, so obviously we're gonna go into a battle against Mr. Bataram who's still over here. So we're gonna test the Arctic Claw out in a battle against him. Alright, here we go, I've equipped my Arctic Claws forward and now we head into battle against the Bataram. That's right guys, when you equip your Arctic Claw, the Arctic Claw can cast 4 spells like any other pet. It can cast 2 of its elemental spells and then it can cast 2 different spells which it's neutral against. Right, so over here as you guys can see, we have the spell Snowling Ball, Spherical Crush, and then we have an Earth and a Water type spell. Now, the Earth spell could be a single person spell or a three person spell or a same with a Water spell, but I'm guessing that the Water spell is going to be Down Portal and the Earth spell is Forest Hurricane, or maybe the Earth spell is not actually Forest Hurricane and it could be Overgrowth and vice versa. Alright guys, if you switch over to my next pet, you guys can see that our pet has the exact same spell set as the previous one. Right, bam, there you guys go, exact same spell set, let's cast the spell Snowling Ball. Shablamo, we just answered our question correctly, and now we have casted our spell in Prodigy, so now we're basically attacking our enemy monster with 2753 damage. Now let's take another look at that attack animation. As you guys can see, basically the Arctic Claw just lifts its head backwards and does a kind of like a howl type attack animation. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast my all of attack and murder this guy once again. Alright guys, so let's take another observation at this. So as you guys can see, both Arctic Claws tilt their head downwards and then tilt their head upwards as if they're howling while attacking their enemy. And there you guys go, that's a pretty cool attack animation if you guys ask me. And unfortunately guys, that's all I have time for in today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys didn't already. And I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius out the house. Bye, have a good time.